You ever feel like your notes are all over the place? Half in your phone, some in a notebook, random screenshots, and you still can't find what you need? Yeah, we've been there too. That's why we started using this app called Capacities. And honestly, it improved the way we take notes, plan stuff, and keep ideas connected. In this video, we're getting into what makes it feel so different, how it actually works, and why we think it's the best notes app out there right now. So, keep on watching. First thing we noticed with Capacities, it doesn't look like other Note apps. Like, it's not just a blank screen and a blinking cursor. The interface feels more like a space you build around your thoughts. Kind of like having your own studio, but for your mind. We're showing it on the screen now. Just look at how it's set up. It's calm, it's clean, and honestly, it feels like you're walking into your own space each time. Everything's arranged by what they call objects, which at first sounds technical, but when you actually start using it, it's so natural. You're not just creating pages, you're building things like people, books, notes, projects. It starts to feel like every idea you've had is getting its own room in this big house of yours. So here's where things really get interesting. Let's walk through the actual features that made us stick around. We've used a lot of note apps that have some kind of daily journaling feature, but Capacities takes it to another level. Every time we open the app, we get a fresh daily note tied to that day's date. We just click it and start typing. And if we don't have anything major to write, we'll just list out a couple of thoughts or to-dos. The cool part is how everything can connect. So let's say we write, meeting with Sarah about content strategy in our daily note. If we highlight Sarah, and turn that into a person object, that's it. Now we have a whole page for Sarah. Later, when we open Sarah's page, we see every meeting, every note, every little thing we've ever mentioned her in. All those backlinks are shown automatically. It's like building a memory network without even trying. This one right here, this is a feature we didn't know we needed until we saw how it worked. So every time you link to something, whether it's a term, a person, a project, it's saved as a backlink. But the real magic is that these backlinks actually show the context around where that link was used. Like, we're showing it now. See this section from a meeting note? We linked the word onboarding. And when we go to the onboarding page, we're not just seeing a cold list of links. We're seeing full snippets of the text that surrounded each link. We know exactly where it came from and what it was talking about. The custom object was great. So, instead of only writing pages or notes, Capacities lets you create your own types of objects. And we use this all the time. We made a video project object. Inside that, we've got properties like script, deadline, status, thumbnail ideas, and even B-roll checklist. All of this is inside one object, which means when we click into it, it's not just a wall of text. It's organized like a dashboard. This right here is where we started thinking, this isn't just a note-taking app. It's a thinking tool. And there's no coding or setup. You just pick the properties you want. Checkbox, text, date, whatever. And that's it. Now, tagging might sound basic, but the way Capacities handles it is different. So we tag notes with stuff like content, strategy, learning, personal. And when we click a tag like content, we don't just see a list. We see a beautiful wall of everything linked to that tag. It's all visual. It even pulls in PDFs, tweets, quotes, anything we've linked. We can scroll through this tag wall and rediscover notes we forgot we ever took. It feels like walking through your past ideas and getting inspired all over again. This is especially useful when we're planning out content and trying to reconnect with old ideas that still matter. So this editor right here, let us just show you. You're not locked into a plain text box. You can create blocks, headers, bullets, checkboxes, 
images, even embedded tweets. It's super flexible. And here's the fun part. You can link individual blocks, not just whole pages. That means we can reference one tiny piece of info across different places. Like we linked a single bullet point about brand color into three different projects. And when we updated it, it updated everywhere. That's so useful when you're working with overlapping info. Templates are another area that got us hooked. So let's say we've got a meeting every Tuesday. We built a template that includes the title, agenda, action items, and notes section. Now every Tuesday, we just click new from template and it's all there. No need to copy paste anything. And the best part, we can set default templates for certain object types. It's one of those things that saves us minutes, but over time, that adds up big. Capacities links with your calendar. So when we connect our Google Calendar, it automatically creates objects for our meetings. Now we can take notes directly on that event. It even pulls in who's attending and when it's happening. We're showing you that on screen now. It's so helpful because everything is in one spot. You don't have to switch between your calendar and your notes app. It's all living together. Now let's talk about finding stuff. Because the more you write, the harder it is to remember where everything is, right? But Capacities has this search bar that just works. We typed in workflow and it showed us every place that word came up. Whether it was in a tag, a block, a page title, or even inside a PDF we uploaded. That's been huge for us, especially during busy weeks when everything's a blur. Now we've had times where we were on a plane or in a remote spot with bad signal and capacities still worked. Notes, tags, templates, they were all right there. That's not something we take lightly because most cloud-based apps break when offline. This one doesn't. Last thing we wanna show you here, and this might be our favorite part, is the connections view. We didn't expect this one to matter much at first, but look at this. It's showing how notes relate to each other based on links, tags, and mentions. It literally helped us discover ideas we forgot we even had. One day, we were prepping a client strategy doc and saw three old notes surface in the connections view. One had a quote, one had a chart, and one had a framework we built. Pulled them all in and the doc was done twice as fast. Oh, and before we forget, we can save stuff from outside capacities too. Screenshots, emails, tweets, you name it. On mobile, there's a share sheet that lets you send stuff straight into your daily note. So we'll be scrolling Twitter, see something cool, hit share, and it's already saved to review later. Same goes for WhatsApp or Telegram. That makes capturing random ideas way easier. Everything considered, capacities gave us more than just a place to write. It gave us a space to actually think. It's flexible without feeling messy, advanced without being overwhelming. We've used it to plan our days, organize work, track ideas, and even reflect. If you're tired of tools that promise a lot but deliver little, this one's worth your time.